Tonight, with one Central Coast high school dealing with the fallout from a racist incident that went viral over the weekend. Happened at Salinas High School and involved racist overtones directed at the African American community. With more on the story and what's being done to address it, we go to Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez, who's live outside of Salinas High School tonight. And Aaron, a full, invest a full investigation has been launched to find those directly involved in not one, but several racially motivated incidents here on campus. And the NAACP not only demanding answers, but accountability as well. The racist incidents went down at Salinas High School involving a small black doll that students stomped on and drove over. They drew crosses on the eyes. They put... Uh a bandana around her neck and was spinning her around and they put an ankle monitor and it's just really disgusting. Some Salinas High School cheerleaders were seen with the doll at Friday's football jamboree. By the weekend, the video had gone viral and was a talk on social media. It was wrong and some people probably thought it was a joke, but most people probably didn't take it as a joke. So I think somebody should have realized before they took it out to go like, hey, that's not right. Monday morning, the principal told students a full investigation is underway to identify those directly involved. They should be held accountable for what they did. That digital footprint should follow them, like when they apply for colleges and stuff, because what they did was like insensitive, vulgar, and disgusting. It really is messed up for, some, for that to happen. Like, I don't know. Like, for me, I, I think they deserve to get suspended. Counselors were brought in to help students express their concern and anger. The president of the Monterey County NAACP said she planned to meet with district leaders and members of the district's African American Advisory Committee will meet with the superintendent to demand swift punishment and opportunities to advance race and culture learning. Some of them don't know that the things that they're doing are insensitive or are racially um, influenced because they don't know the history. And so education is the key. Education is the key. I always say that. If you don't know, then how do you know? And when you know, you do better. You do. And as I mentioned, the uh, president of the local NAACP did meet with district leaders today. She released a, shape, a statement shortly after that meeting, and it reads in part, she wants the di uh, district to send a clear message, a direct message, make it crystal clear that there will be consequences to their very serious actions. Of course, she's talking about the students that may have been involved here. The statement also goes on to read that those involved in this incident have been identified as student leaders at the school, and it is imperative that school administrators remove them immediately from these roles. And incidentally, tomorrow, the school board for the Salinas Union High School District will have their meeting, their first full meeting since these incidents arose, and I'm sure the board member will... Sorry about that, but I'm sure the uh, board meeting or that board meeting will be packed and the board members will hear an earful from a lot of people regarding what happened here at Salinas High School. Aaron. All right, Felix, thank you.